I feel like this was a mistake. I should not have attempted to do this and I don't know how she blended it out. If you are new here, I'm given school age vibes. Like I literally have no nails on and I'm trying to hide them because they're ashy. It seems like every time I sit down, my hands are ashy. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Skin Hydra Reset Hand Lotion. It looks like this. It, it's unassuming. It looks unassuming. Like it looks like there's nothing, okay? It is so incredibly rich and incredibly look at all of this okay and it's so hydrating it is insane okay and it smells it smells like cucumber in my opinion i don't may i might not be able to place the scent but to me it smells like cucumber and i really like it, it smells very very good it's very hydrating as well I actually have like three or four. I have like four hand lotions around me because every time I sit down, I need to make sure that my hands are, you know? I also need to make sure my lips are situated because they're not. Oh, so good. Anyway, so today I'm given school age realness. I'm given private school realness, I think. I just need a tie and I'll be set. So in today's video, I am going to be trying out a skin base, foundation base TikTok hack that I saw. It looks insane. I don't know how I'm gonna blend it. I generally don't know how, genuinely don't know how it's gonna come out. I do know that the technique, not the technique, but the placement of some of the products is exactly where I would place it if i were doing my makeup blending step by step but this hack is a viral i want to try it and see what the hype is all about okay so if you want to if you want to go on this journey of tiktok makeup hacks with me then keep on watching okay so let's go ahead and see what this hack looks like so i can see if i can recreate it okay e on TikTok did this trend first, at least from what I know. She's the first one to try this trend and did it. It went viral and everybody else jumped on it. Correct me down below if I'm wrong, whether or not she's the originator of this trend on TikTok. Okay, you guys, so she doesn't show which one she blends out first. She doesn't show anything. She just shows that she put the lines on her face and then, you know, she swiped it away and it was fully blended out. Before we jump in, everything I use in, the, in today's video will be linked down below. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Okay, so the first thing that she lined on her face Face was a cream blush the one that she actually used I think is the um the she glam um blush if I'm not mistaken but I am going to be using the colored rain cream blushes I actually have her video up because I'm going to get this right I also feel like at some point she used two different shades of bronzer and contour but we will see because for me my bronzer and my contour are blush and contour so i don't necessarily use like a bronzer bronzer by itself i need the koi Voka icon <clears throat> icon contour because icon is the one that's deep enough to do the things that i want to do with it i'm going to use the colored rain cream blush we're going to be using the huda beauty stick foundation this is the shade 560r i'm going to link the video of me trying each one of these products down below so you can definitely check it out everything i'm using i feel like it's one of those products that i absolutely love okay i'm going to be using the anastasia beverly hills concealer this is the shade number 25 oh and set powder i am going to be using the one size um until dawn setting spray of course i'm going to prime my skin and i'm going to be using the one size secure the blur primer I have my benai nutmeg over here she doesn't show it but i'm very certain that she sets her under eyes and all that good stuff because there's no way all of this cream product is gonna stay on my face if i don't set it okay and then for our eyes and lips i'm gonna be using oh and we also have a blender over here we're gonna be using the she glam wretched romance collection go ahead and prep my eyes and everything and then i'll come back so that we can jump into the wretched collection the wretched 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 
the wretched romance collection okay i can't even talk because i'm so like flabbergasted as to how this is gonna go okay it's genuinely freaking me out okay Okay, so my eyelids are prepped and we're gonna jump into the Wretched the wretched Romance by She Glam. This eyeshadow palette is essentially in the shape of a spider web and the colors in here are very nice. I feel like this is one of those palettes that you can create a ton of Halloween looks with and you can also create some holiday looks with this, especially because of the black in here, the, sim the shimmer shades. They're all so gorgeous. I really like this Hocus Pocus um, shade. It's like blood stained. It's very cute. I'm taking Devil in the Blue in Black Magic. So I'm taking this orangey shade because that red shade is actually a shimmer shade. The, or the, or the red shade is actually a shimmer shade. So I'm taking the orange shade and I'm using it to blend the outer edges of the purple out just to give it a little bit more warmth. But you don't have to do it like this if you don't want. I literally use the same brush. This is the BH Cosmetics brush 103. I want to go in with the black shade which is called black magic i want to intensify it right here okay so this is the blend that we got going on i'm gonna put some of this clear lash glue and i'm gonna take the shade witching hour that's witching hour is the shade right here So I'm just blending it out so I can share it out so it's not like a straight line going into the look situation. So first I'm going to go in with the primer. So the moment of truth. So I'm going in with the concealer. This is a bit scary, but I'm using a concealer that's not going to set on me while I'm like applying my lines. Okay, I think that's uh, that's light enough to go over that. Next, I'm going to go in with the blush. I'm using the Colored Rain Smooches. This is the cream blush, and I'm going to use my finger because I don't think there's anything I can use to give me a precise line. Oh my god. So for the blush, I kind of understand the blush going across the nose because on a regular day, I put my blush over my nose anyway. So that really isn't like jarring for me. The question is, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to blend everything together. Next, we have the contour. I'm using the contour in the shade Icon from Koi Volka. This is very, very deep. Oh, this is interesting. And she put some here. Of course, you do some here. I'm going to put my contour up here. She put some of the blush on top of the line like that. Okay, this is weird. It's just looking weird. Put some concealer. She puts... She, she has concealer here and coming down. Okay, and then she put some in the middle and some here. Okay, and then she put the foundation in between the spaces where she didn't put anything. And we're gonna be using the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. This is 560. We're going to blend everything out with the Wretched Romance um, blending sponge. It looks like a ghost. It's so cute. Okay, so I went ahead and wet the sponge. It definitely got a little bigger than when we started. 
my hands are wet, which means it's gonna get ashy in a little bit. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is start blending the concealer part and then I'm gonna blend the foundation part and then I'm gonna blend the blush before I blend the... Cr <sighs> anyway, I'll figure it out, but I don't want my face to get too red. I think I put too much product on my face. <laughs> I feel like this was a mistake. I should not have attempted to do this and I don't know how she blended it out. I'm blending in the foundation. I'm, 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 very, I'm very worried about this. I'm using the butt of the blender to blend in the concealer on the sides. And then I'm gonna blend everything up here. Okay, I'm blending in this situation over here. This is weird. I feel like this is like underpainting, but like done in a weird roundabout kind of way. And now the forehead area is just not looking okay. I look crazy. So I'm using the bud of this to blend everything together. And at this point, it actually came together a lot better than I thought it would, especially when I started using the bud of it to blend everything together. And by everything together, I mean, I'm just like blending everything. Like I'm going over everything as if I did like underpainting and I'm putting foundation over everything. That way everything is blended in like to each other and not like separated. I I don't know what I, th I don't know how I feel about this. The foundation is definitely like, oh, the base, everything blended together looks good. I do feel, however, that it looks a bit sloppy, at least before I set it. Oh, I forgot to add the setting spray before I blended everything. Oh, so I'm gonna spray it now, because. I'm gonna use my Benign Nutmeg Setting Powder. Okay, let's go ahead and finish our eyes. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my brows, apply some lashes and do my lower lash line and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look trying out this TikTok makeup trend where you just draw lines on your face essentially. My final thoughts are as scary as all this was to blend together and as weird as the concealer was looking, my base actually does look very flawless. Let me explain. Um, the contour, whenever I lined it, when I was blending it in, I thought it looked a bit patchy. And that was when I was only trying to blend each product at a time. After I decided to go ahead and use the part of the blender that I used to blend the, the foundation, I used that part to blend everything in or to just go over everything like in stages, just blend everything in. That was when I feel like everything decided to like melt together. And I did that process because when you do underpainting, after you do the really light concealer and the dark contours and everything you put the foundation over everything and that marries it all together right so with the blending and after i blended in the foundation which was around here and also over here i went ahead and just used the butt of this of this to blend everything together and i feel like that is what essentially brought everything together for me if it wasn't for that i think it would have been very difficult for me to just blend each product in into each of the other products and make it work i don't know how else to explain it i just know that if you're going to be trying this after you blend your concealer your blush your foundation just go ahead and just blend everything together what I would suggest you just start from the base and just 
you know, blend in sections, just up and down, 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 and blend everything together. I also went ahead and contoured my nose a little bit to soften my brows, and I have not, and then the only thing that I put over it was the setting powder that I put under my eyes because I do have oily skin, I don't want my foundation to be creasing because it will crease, especially if I don't set it. And I put a little bit of the powder on the corners of my mouth. But that is it, like, it, it, it looks good. The blush is not as blushing as it would have if I put it on top of it. The contour is not as contouring as it would if I had put it on top of the foundation. But this way, everything looks very subtle. Everything looks more like skin. Everything looks pang. I, th I really, really, really like this. It was a bit scary, like it was very, very scary. <laughs> <laughs> would you try this would you not try this do were you scared along with me let me know your thoughts and everything down below in the comments once again i will link all the products that i use today down below so you can check it out thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next trying the tiktok hack video bye <laughs>